I think one of my biggest fascinations when I went up into the Himalayas with Grandma Staksha for the initiation was our sleep cycle and what we manifest in sleep dimension. And so how we prepare ourselves, whether it's the way we sleep or, or our intent before sleep or even uh, the, how we prepare the bed for sleep can directly impact our manifestations to a point where things can manifest instantly if we do the uh, most appropriate uh, rituals. I remember the first time I did something like this was when a friend of mine, uh, this is many years ago, maybe around 10 years ago, and his name was George, and he was telling me, um, he said, oh, you want to attract more money. At that time, I was building my businesses and want, want, wanted to attract more money. And he said, okay, take a load of cash and put it under your pillow and sleep on it. And I remember at that moment when I first heard him, I was like, George, I said, this is really, really crazy. I mean, <laughs> why would I take cash and put it under my pillow and sleep on it? It, it wasn't that at all because at that time, I believe I only had like a, a few thousand in the account or something like that. So at that time, I, I, I remember vaguely thinking like I put like 2,000 under the pillow or something like that. And I thought, you know, what have I got to lose? And then what happened was, I believe it was about two or two, three months later, I realized it, the business in these different projects had generated over a hundred thousand pounds. And at that time it was a big deal for me. It's funny because Steve Jobs once said that you cannot connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backwards. Now going through this whole journey of the awakening and the training and, and in the Himalayas with all this, uh, the spirituality and dimension traveling, I come to realize the significance of that pillow method. Our brain continues to function even when we're sleeping. Right? Even if you th think it's some sort of dream state, there is consciousness there. There's something moving. It's active. Uh, there, there, there could be a conversation happening or you're moving towards something. There is a goal still happening. And as long as these things are happening, guess what? Then the vibrations are still happening. What does that mean? You are still vibrating when you're sleeping. And what does that mean? As long as there's a vibration, there is an attraction. So you are still attracting things while you sleep. I think the easiest way to think about it is like this, right? Have you ever had a moment where you like watch a horror movie or something like that? And then straight after the horror movie, you, when you're dreaming in your dream, you actually dream about the horror movie. Okay. What does that mean? It means for that six, seven or eight hour cycle, guess what? You were in the vibrational alignment and matching of something that you pre-programmed the mind before sleep. I think everybody should try it because it's um, there's, there's there's nothing to lose, you see. Like what what I think people can start off with, right? This is the easiest way, is to take a piece of paper and start scripting just before you sleep. Script just just do it with one goal. And the reason why I'm saying that is because what you focus on expands. You don't have like dispersed energy and scattered energy at that point, right? So script that one thing you really want to attract. Look at it, visualize it, feel it. Take what you've scripted, take that piece of paper and just put it under the pillow and sleep on it. Why? Well, it's you, you will be, that's the only thought you will have going on in your head while you're sleeping, right? You're closest to it. So it's highly likely this vibrational frequency will continue. And if you do that for like 21 days, just watch what opportunities come in your life that are linked to that manifestation.